everyone, it's Lulu. Sunday chat time. Thank you for coming back. And if you are new, holy smokes, that's great. Thank you. Uh, before you leave, as a matter of fact, right now, can you hit that subscribe button? And if you hit the bell next to it, and it'll get kind of like parentheses, like it's ringing signs, that means you'll get an email. Assuming you have signed up for a YouTube account. And by the way, YouTube, instead of the word account, calls it a channel, which I think may be worrisome to some people. And that's why they don't sign up because they, they go through the process, you know, they go through Google, Gmail, whatever. I don't remember anymore. And then it says, create your YouTube channel. And you're thinking, I don't want a channel. It's their way of saying account. So if you have a YouTube account channel, you will get alerted by email every time I upload. And you, know, you can just delete the email or you can click on it and come and see me or put it in your for later, save for later box, whatever. Hey. So what am I going to chat about today? So this week's nail polish is Zoya Monica. Looks very dark, but it's a plum. It's a deep, dusty, deep, dusty plum. No, not plum. It's a, it's a deep, dusty purple. I would say that is more accurate to, accurate to call it that. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, I went back. I have a group on Facebook. I know you all know this. But I thought it'd be fun to share the topics we have. Because um, the, the name of the group is Lulu's Beauty Friends. But really, we don't talk that much about beauty. I probably, we really don't. But we talked about, like, uh, what's the word? Dialect or uh, not territory? Just differences in speech. I asked, do you say buggy or cart? You know, like when you're in the grocery store or Target or Walmart, are you pushing a buggy or a cart? Leave me your answer. Do you call it a sofa or a couch? And then uh, a couple of the members joined in and kind of one said, do you say roof or rough? Go up on the roof. The ball got stuck on the roof. It was an interesting question. So, um, and then the other one was, do you say because or because? I never thought about that until today when she asked that question. I realized I say because rather than because. So I don't know, Chicago, what can I say? So that was fun. We talked about under eye concealer. So there's a little makeup for mature, crepey lids. I asked that question. I have, I don't know. <laughs> 20, 25 concealers. Okay, it's me. You know that. And it's not, but I know there's something that has happened in the last four, five, six months. I'm being very serious. I don't know if it has to do with really sobbing every day because I still sob, like gut wrenching sobbing about Vito. So maybe that is having an effect. But I asked about what is a an under eye concealer. I have like road maps, you know, just those hash marks everywhere. And then I have several really deep creases. Um, I'm okay with the deep creases. It's those hash marks that make me crazy. And I use top notch eye cream. I'm very, very moisturized. Um, so if you have an idea for mature crepey, like mature and crepey and hash marked lines, if you're 30, no offense, if you're 40, no offense, and as a matter of fact, if you're 50, no offense, but I would really like to hear what everybody's using for concealer that I don't care about creasing, I just want it to be smooth, in other words, not looking like the life's been sucked out <clears throat> and all the hash marks look horrible can live with the deep creases. It's those hash marks that make me crazy. Speaking of that, I am, I have to pull the trigger. I'm going for, I'm finally going back for a Botox and probably will make an appointment for filler. I need to find a deal on Groupon for filler. Um, but Botox, there's a great deal going on on Groupon right now. And I, I definitely have to get my 11s done. I'm getting up close. Oh, then it's too bright and you can't see. Shoot. Well, anyway, I'm getting my 11s done. Uh, if there's anything left, we'll take care of the crow's feet. And I desperately, you can see, I don't have bags. I just have hollow. You know, there's nothing you 
that I know of that I can do. I've tried camouflaging with the dreaded concealer. I've tried extending the highlight. So I'm going to be looking at filler for that. And while I'm looking for filler for that, I probably want to do my lips. Maybe not. Not so much my lips, but definitely under my eyes. Ugh. And um, see what else they recommend. So that should be coming up within the next month or two. Uh, what else did we talk about on L Lulu's Beauty Friends? Oh, adult children. Dollar spot at Target. Okay, learn something new. Our Target has two entrances. It's a, I don't know what they call it, super Target, great Target. But it's a full-fledged grocery store. And then, of course, a full-fledged Target. I always use, well, there's two entrances, for whatever reason, I always use, as you're looking at the building, the right side entrance. Don't know why, just that's where I go. I don't walk past the dollar, dollar spot because of that. The dollar spot would be if I use the left doors. And way back when, Target kind of had... I don't know what they, I don't think they called it the dollar spot, but they would have a little bit at each entrance. And I always felt like it was more stuff for kids, you know, quick little goodie that you would give, you know, for good behavior or just because, or grandparents, you know, they come over and you want to give them a little something or stocking stuffers. I just always had the image of it being more geared towards children. And I was asking about that. Why was I, oh, because I started noticing haul videos from adults on the dollar spot that had nothing to do with children. So I said, you know, I just, I haven't seen it. So I went to Target. I've been shopping a lot at Target lately. I've been having kind of fun. Our Target is redone. Ooh, fancy, 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 fancy. Um, but I've been having fun with their prologue line of clothes and a new day, which I can never figure out. Those are really fun. Affordable, I mean, just fun and affordable. Um, anyway, so I went, I specifically went to the other side to look at the dollar spot. Now, I thought everything was a dollar. I'm thinking Dollar Tree, dollar spot, it's a dollar. So my eye went to a few things, and then I went and picked it up, and I'm like, oh, it's five dollars. And like, for a dollar, it would have been a deal. For five dollars, it made me think twice. You know how it is you have yourself set up for one thing, and then when it turned out to be something else, you kind of like double disappointed? I then found out from the group that dollar spot is $1, $3, or $5. I think had I known that before I went to the dollar spot, I maybe would have bought some things. But I was like, everything I picked up was either a three or a five. I'm like, what the heck is a dollar? A lot of the kids' stuff was a dollar. I didn't get anything from the dollar spot. I was disappointed. But it was mostly... Was it mostly Valentine? I think it was a lot of Valentine. So it must be seasonal. Is that it? It's probably seasonal, right? That makes sense. Um, we talked about adult children. Wow, that's a hot subject. Like, that's a really hot... You know, it's interesting. Like, I know people who... People, friends, Facebook friends, cyber friends, real life friends, who do not get along... Daughters who do not get along with their mothers. Like, really don't get along. Not just snippy. I mean, really a, a bad, they're in a bad place and they try to make the best of it. And some don't even try to make the best of it. And then I know mothers who have lost contact or are really in an ugly place with their children. And it's always, like if it's a daughter, the blame is put on the mother. If it's the mother, the blame is put on the children. And I think to myself, well, I'm siding with that person because I know them. You know, oh, please, Susie Snow, you know, I'm so sorry you're going through this with your daughter, son, mother, father, whatever. And all the comments will be like that. But really, we don't know. Like we, and sometimes we ourselves don't know what we did or didn't do or didn't do. And um, how did I get on this goofy, oh, adult children, that topic came up. And um, that's a really fine line. That is such a big and horrible and tough topic because you just, it seems there's such opposing views. And each, I know, has a reason. Valid or not, they each have a reason. And I don't think, for many, I think it's beyond the point of return to share the reason. I don't know that it's, be, I don't know that anything's ever beyond the point of return, but it would almost take a professional to kind of 
navigate through the solution. Um, but all I can say is don't give up. I don't know, just because I haven't walked those shoes. Anyway, so that came up. The under eye concealer I mentioned came up. Um, and we, um, did I mention, yeah, I'm getting Botox. So that's kind of a big deal. On uh, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, I watched, I know there's a Henry VIII series and I watched it. This was, and I can't for the life of me remember the name, but it was more from Queen Anne's, like the telling of the story was more from Queen Anne Boylan. I think that was his second wife. She was beheaded. And her sister, and they're we're kind of told more from that perspective and his quest to um, have a son, have an heir, a male heir. And... Um, that that really, his annulment from his first wife, Queen Catherine, because he wanted to get married to the hot little chick, Anne, Queen Anne, um, he wanted an annulment. And the Pope, they were very Catholic, but the Pope was like, you know, you've got children, it's 23 years later, what are you kidding me? And so he just kind of created his own church, King Henry. And that's kind of one of the many splits from the Catholic Church. And there you have the Church of England, and I found that to be fascinating because he wanted an annulment, and the Pope would not do that, and so he said, well, I'm, just, I'm the king. I can do what I want. I'm going to start my own church, and I'm granting myself an annulment. And there you have it. That was fascinating. We um, also, on my Facebook group, we have a member who got very, very ill with the flu, like beyond ill with the flu. I mean, to the point where she was in ICU for three days. Three days in ICU is pretty, like, I don't know every hospital in the country or in the world. Here in Chicago, ICU, I think anywhere, it's pretty serious business. I, I don't know. Because I'd imagine if you are in a smaller, anyway, we, you know, it's so funny, like most of us, on, in my group, didn't even know Jan like six, seven, eight months ago. And she often, very often posts the look of the day. She's a mature beauty and she lists what she uses and we've all become so attached to her. Well, she got sick. And she said we brought her so much joy just knowing we were here for her. We were posting about her and we were praying for her. I just thought that was so cool. And she's home now and she's going back to work tomorrow, as a matter of fact. And, um, but it was a scary week. It was a scary week for her. Like, you know, the flu is kind of serious business when we get to be a certain age. Okay, so like, get to the doctor emergency room if that's you, because nothing to fool around with. And I got Bark Box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna list Jan's station, uh, station. I still call them stations. Channel below. Sherry uh, does. A video each month when her bark box, bark, bark box arrives with Missy, her dog, and our bark box arrived yesterday. <laughs> I just let the dogs know that is my, and my, mind you, it's the same size as many Alta and Sephora boxes, which arrive quite often here, but the dogs know it's a bark box. They are so cute, and as a matter of fact, at this very moment, Banks is shredding up one of the toys. And uh, so I'll put her channel below. Oh, this is very important. Um, I don't know if you watch Mary Ellen after 60. I'm going to put her link below. If you are into this new cacao oil like trend, it's supposed to be the oil with the highest amount of a retinol or vitamin A derivative. Before it used to be rosehip oil that had the highest, but now they've discovered, I mean, it's been around forever, but that cacao oil is right up there with many actual drugstore retin retinoid. Retinoid is like the big picture, like apples. Apples is all the apples in the world. Retinoids is all the retin, vitamin A, retinol, retin A, retin you know, whatever you want to call it. And like, you know, like apples. Then you can say, well, I want a Jonathan, I want a Granny Smith, I want a Macintosh, I want a Gala, Gala, whatever. And retinoids is the catch-all term of all of the family of vitamin A, prescription, non-prescription, various strengths. So um, cacao oil is now really recognized as strong in that family. 
And there's one brand, which escapes me at the moment, on Amazon that everybody is really recognizing as the place to go. Mary Ellen has a 40% off coupon code. 40%. So I think a bottle of it is like 38, and this brings it down to whatever. It's half of 38. 16, and then add a little bit more. So maybe 20-ish plus tax and shipping, whatever. I don't know. And I swear by... Timeless is the brand, vitamin C, 20% serum. Because I like very liquidy vitamin C, I like fast absorbing, and I like 20%, but most importantly, did you know there are seven different kinds of vitamin C? Seven. And all of them kind of do, are known for different things. The only one that is a catch-all the only one that has the actual science behind it is L-ascorbic, which is the original. And Timeless uses L-ascorbic acid. So that's what I, and I love it. And she's got a 25% off coupon for that. A few times a year, Timeless does a 50% off. I am really lisping. Hmm, what does that mean? Timeless does a 50% off, but 25% off is fabulous. And so I'm going to link her channel below. And if you go to any description box on any of her videos, you will, you know, and she's scroll down a bit, but you will see both of those codes. So I'm going to link Mary Ellen because I think that's just, these are products I, I don't use the cacao oil um, because I use prescription retin-A and uh, I use, anyway, but I mean, it's a really excellent oil. It's just an excellent oil and, and, a, and a good way to get some type of vitamin A benefit without going the prescription, you know, without irritation, I suppose is the best way to say it. I'm sure there's plenty of videos on it. I'm not doing a very good job. And so that is one. Oh, and you know, the other exciting thing. Oh, now I'm watching Land Girls. Land Girls on Netflix. I am so enjoying this series. I am so enjoying it. It's like, I think it's only three seasons. And I've just started the second season. I know this is one of those. I'm going to be heartbroken when it ends. Like, I'm going to be like, oh, please, please. If you have any, I love period dramas, historical dramas, costume dramas. Most of the time they came, come out of uh, Masterpiece Theater or Britbox Channel. If you have any favorites, I've been binging them for probably seven or eight months. And I'm talking binging, binging them. Um... Chances are maybe I watched it, but if not, there's also a website, a blog. Is it a blog or a website? Willow and Thatch. I will leave the link for that below. And that's all they are about. Like, they are top shelf on knowing about period historical dramas, whether it be a release on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, PBS, in the theaters, whatever. And they do many reviews, but... You know, if you want to know all the period dramas that are coming up in January 2019, they have a link to them. Willow and Thatch. Love that. I will, did I already say that? I'm going to link it below. I think, you know, that's kind of like, oh, big news. How did this come to be? I am on a wager, because I think betting is illegal. Is betting illegal? Well, I'm on a friendly wager with Susan B. West, We'll link her below, and Trish Oliver will link her below. The first one to brag, I, I actually have a wager with either, either, both of them. The first one to buy a highlighter this year is the loser and owes the other person a $25 gift card to either Sephora or Ulta. Susan mentioned something about like she's got highlighters coming out of her head. I've got highlighters coming out of my head, and I love them. I don't, I'm not wearing one today, but I still love them. And so I was like, okay, I don't need any more highlighters. I don't need any more of anything, actually, but um, really highlighters. And so I kind of said, let's put some money where the mouth is if you have too many of them. And then I thought, Trish Oliver, she shops more than I do. And uh, I, I can't live without her weekly hauls. And I said, how about joining us, Trish? And she said, yes. So, we have a three-way, actually, it's me and Susan, me and Trish. So, I'm kind of competing against both of them to not buy highlighter. The only exception is if you're buying, like, a face palette or, you know, a kit, 
one highlighter in a kit or a face palette is allowed. Two highlighters, no bueno. So, as of today, I think we started this wager on Wednesday or Thursday, today's Sunday. <sighs> I'm safe, and I went to Target. I went to Target. Like, I just didn't even look at the makeup section. Although I did go to the e.l.f. section because I'm looking for the Pore Putty, which is a actually beyond, like, better than Tatcha Silk Cream. And I want to do, like, a four-way. There's four of those kind of putty-ish uh, pore fillers. I would like to do a four-way comparison. And it's sold out online at e.l.f. Ulta doesn't have it. And uh, so I thought I would check at Target, and they don't carry it yet. So I will just, I'm on an email alert for the, uh, for when it comes back in stock on the e.l.f. site. And I must say, I've now used the Tatcha Silk Canvas for four days, three days, four days, three days. I don't think it's filling my pores. And I don't think I have obnoxious pores. I mean, I, I mean, I do compared to some people, I guess. But they're not as bad as many people. Um, I don't know. I, and I pat it in. I pat and roll. I add a little more. I don't know. That's it. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today for my Sunday chat and kind of week wrap up. But you can see we have lots of fun in Lulu's Beauty Friends. Way more than beauty. And I would love for you to join us. So the link, of course, as always, is below. I hope you have a great week. I will be back with more videos. I have an update on the haul, the Sephora and Alta haul. Had a lot of no buenos. Um, I'll be back with that. I'm thinking maybe to do an empties or do I wait till the end of the month? I don't know. Like, I hardly have. This is probably three months of empties and it's still just like a teeny, teeny little thing. And I um, have hauled a few more things. So I know I'll be back this week. I'm not sure with what, but I will be back this week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a very good, fruitful, productive, peaceful week. Thank you.